Okay, we all set? Yes. Yes, we are. Good evening and welcome to the Town of McCandless Planning Commission meeting for February 6, 2024. We have uh, two primary items on the agenda today. You got it. And the first one is the Schultz Ford Lincoln EV dealership. Uh, let's see what we have continued discussion, presumably. I'm David Lucci. I'm from Victor Watson Associates. Uh, I believe there was comments the last time we were here. I think all the big plan issues were addressed. And I think the last thing was was a, to talk about stormwater management. And I believe, I think your engineer might want to uh, now on what's going on with the stormwater management. Sure. Um, so as you recall, last meeting, we talked about the two big issues that we had identified. Issue one was the um, proposed infiltration pond had 120 to 155 inches per hour recorded for their infiltration testing, which is very, very, very high. A high infiltration rate for the PADEP is 10 inches per hour. So um, it was being modeled with a three inch per hour assumption that we were not comfortable with because we want to ensure that the downstream neighbors in Ashley Hills are not going to be flooded out uh, via the subsurface, you know, if there's potential crevices in the ground in the bedrock um, or whatnot. So that comment was addressed. Um, the engineer has provided a PVC liner in the infiltration basin with perforations that will reduce the amount of water that can infiltrate through the basin bottom at any one time. So we checked their calculations and now with this impermeable liner at those specific locations, the basin will allow a three inch per hour infiltration rate. So that was the first item that we feel um, has been addressed. The second item um, was regarding the offsite runoff analysis. So as you recall, um, just as a refresher, at the back of the site where the basin is in the post-construction conditions was releasing more at that location than it was in pre-development conditions. So as a whole, the site was meeting the pre-developed conditions that they had to, but it was that specific location that we can't release more. So we proposed two options to the design team. One was you get that rate down below pre-developed conditions, or two, you have to do an offsite analysis to study the storm sewer system and the downstream basin that would accept the flow that is a town owned basin. So that work was conducted. We received a report um, that over the past week and a half, we've gone back and forth with their engineer because um, we had some questions, some issues that we had identified in their analysis. Okay, well, just which work? The off the site infiltration? Site. Okay. Yeah, the offsite work okay. um, that would, um, that basically we were, we could not form an opinion because we didn't fully agree with the approaches that were taken. And we um, had talked through some um, errors in the analysis that were causing basically it to not be a, an apples to apples comparison at that location. Um, so for the past week, we've been going back and forth on that. And during our review, um, one thing we had identified that had changed this round was when you model a basin, you put your contour areas in there we found that the contour areas they modeled had gone up. So we talked with the engineer and it sounds like at the very beginning, maybe after the first submission, the basin area had changed and they never updated their contour areas. So they had more storage volume in their pond than they were modeling previously. So we talked through that um, and I had identified that there were some changes that looked like they could make to their onsite um, outlet structure to better control the water that was leaving the site. So I, I asked the engineer, I said, you either have to address the offsite concerns that we have, or you take a look at that onsite basin and see if you can make it work. So the comments that you see in the letter that we did send out today, we were trying to work with, with them on this, do identify our concerns of the offsite runoff. We did receive um, last night we were speaking and it sounded like he had a solution forward. Um, with the adjustments he made, he was able to get all the, the large storms to meet the rates he had to. He made some fine tuning adjustments today where he believes that, you know, the one and two year storm are addressed. 
So I feel that with what they've submitted, and I'll say we've, we double checked their um, areas of the contours to make sure it aligns with the plans that we have, um, and it does. We do feel that there is a path forward to address the rate issue at, on the site. So that would basically nullify our offsite concerns. I'm just pulling up the letter on the screen here. Sure. This just yeah. came out. You know, I know you guys were working continuously on it, but you know, yeah. we, we just put it on the meeting packet Dropbox mm -hmm. like a few hours ago. So um, if you all have any questions about particular points that are up here, you know, maybe that's this yeah. is a, a good time. But yeah, yeah, there was still a question about, and maybe this is what was addressed with the um, liner, the offside property. It was your comment number three analysis of the 100 year design storm into the channel stormwater system shall be provided to show that the system can handle a hundred year flow, not impact downstream properties. Sure. So we have calculations from them. We just didn't, did not receive the backup behind that. So I feel that if he provides us that backup, that will address the comment. That is an on-site comment. Yeah, you're correct. The off-site comments are four through eight. Um, comment number eight is basically we don't, have at this point an updated full set that reflects the changes in the outlet structure on site um, and or a full compiled report. So that's just our comment site. We, we need all that to be able to take a look at that. Um, Kelly, you'd said your quote or your comment was, we feel that we now have a path forward. Yes. But that means you still need to see information. Yeah, we haven't received a full plan submission. I got some revised calculations before the meeting. I had a chance to look through the items that we were questioning and concerned and back, che back checked where he's going with it. And it should work okay. with the whole plan that he has as shown. We just haven't seen, you know, the updated drain and jerry maps, the updated plan. We've just seen the calculations. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and I we, I just wanted to say that these, these this is for preliminary plans. We're going to be coming back here in front of you guys for final plans. So uh, if there's any issues regarding what Kelly's talking about, I think we can iron it out. I, th I think she's going to want this ironed out before, you know, we go up to the council. Is that right? I mean, that yeah, I mean, we need to have the, the large storm comments yeah. addressed before We're, council or we'll just be definitely. a council with the same kind of issues there. Definitely. So especially in the prelim stage, we want to make sure there's no um large changes that we would see at the final that would cause us to be back here yeah we understand so yeah. the comment about a, a notifying downstream property owners offsite property owners that might be impacted is that a condition we're putting on or that's something that they've written in notes and when we approve the plan because I my plans were too small to read. Number one, comment one. Yeah. So that's a formal notification where the applicant needs to issue a letter to the um, downstream residents, residents that are adjacent, notifying them that a stormwater management facility is going to be installed. And we require um, them to be certified letters so we can see the proof of the green slips. So yeah, that's one outstanding comment that we have. So that's not something we need to make as a condition of approval. It, it, would, it would be part of, part, of yes. part of the letter. We always yeah. make the engineer's comments. Yeah. The, yeah. That was my question. Yeah. Have you sent those out yes. yet? Yeah, I, I believe so. I think we we went and submitted it to you or to the township to see if that was the right wording. And I think we got an email back saying that that, that is correct. That was, I believe, for the offsite survey, okay. that letter we received. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was separate than just the standard um, kind of Hey, we're okay. going to be installing well, a BMP at a property yeah. adjacent to you. Yeah, I I believe so that that was already sent out too because I think that was one of your comments. So I yeah, I, it's on. I, okay. I will definitely will definitely get that out uh, and show you a copy of it. Okay. Are there any other questions regarding kind of where we are? I know the letter went out late, and we've been doing a lot of back and forth the two weeks. So no, I was just concerned yeah. with the comments in the letter that yeah. there were still right. significant outstanding issues. Yes. And I would say, you know, with the two options we had provided to them, if if they aren't able to, if they were not able to address it in the basin, those offsite comments would still be mm -hmm. present. And I feel that they have a, a path forward that they can be successful and manage it on site, which is preferable ultimately. That's, you know, with stormwater management, you never want more going off your site. And that's why we have those different study points. And you're comfortable, I mean, I'm not comfortable passing something on to council that's only going to be a problem for them. 
Right. So you are comfortable that this is at a point that is resolvable before it gets to them. Yeah, I mean, I would like to have the updated reports and plans prior to the meeting so we can make sure that. That would be, a, that would be an absolute. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm disappointed because we've been here before and it seems like each time we come, there's more to be turned over. And I wish that at some time we would have it all turned over so that we could make a an informed decision yeah. and, instead of making these kind of half-baked decisions betting on the come. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. Well, we 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 tr we've been working with the you know with Gateway on on trying to get these items resolved, and I I think like Kelly's saying that we will we will definitely get them resolved, uh, with you know prior to going to the council meeting. I I I, I feel comfortable comfortable we can say that, and uh, you know I think Kelly is as well. Is there a way we can put that in our resolution? Um. That's we really recommend good. it contingent upon. Well, we would we would typically make a motion at this stage if there are you know outstanding technical comments that it's contingent upon. You know, that you recommend approval contingent upon all of the engineers' comments being satisfied. Yeah. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a completely clean letter because there are always going to be some things you know right. here at the end or sometimes there are formatting things where it's like all right we we can work but like this is not material I'm just talking about change. the basin issue being yeah resolved. um the outfall i i would say that you could put in your recommendation that that this specific issue be resolved prior to their approval however there are a couple other issues at play that may affect how they decide to move forward on this application at the council um, stage. You know, one being, when do we get this information? How much time do the engineers have to actually right. review it and get a new comment letter out? The other one being, as of right now, this plans review extension runs through February 27th. So if, in, in the council meeting at which we would next be able to hear this application is the 26th. So if everything is not like buttoned up and ready to go out the door, either, well, no, it's 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 not necessarily. Um, at that point, two things can happen. One being we get another review extension, you know, and, and, and we do this again, but at the council meeting, or two is council, you know, we don't get a review extension from the applicant. Council has to take action one way or another. That is still something that we would have to talk through at this stage if you all do not take action today because until or unless we get a review deadline extension february 27th is our drop dead date now i mean we've gotten extensions before yeah uh, but just, I, yeah. but you know I, I don't know that that's where we're at right now but that's where we could be you know when, when would you need information this business that it comes in at four in the afternoon of the day we meet is unacceptable in my opinion yeah, uh, I know. Yeah. So this won't happen again. So yeah. when do you need your information? And let's set a date. And if it's not in, this this gets we're not going to tentatively approve it or approve it at all. So ideally, if we can have it seven days, seven business days, that would be the best. So that would give us about a week to review it, process comments get a final issued and out yeah is that acceptable to you um i mean once you guys take action it's out of this body's hands it just has to go on to council unless we get a review extension so right so if we, i don't have a problem with that condition but i can't necessarily guarantee that that's what happens for but if we don't recommend it we move to yeah not recommend make, denial yeah recommend denial because we don't yet have all of the requisite information to right. make a good decision to pass on to council, yeah. then it still goes on to council. Correct. But without our recommendation because of these deficiencies. Right. I mean, I and, guess there, there are three, maybe, if I can count right, paths here. One being you recommend approval contingent upon meeting these. Two being you recommend denial because it on it because time. we don't have all the information yet and, it, yeah. and what we did receive arrived belatedly or, or yeah. let, me, let me ask you a question if it if we deny it and then the gateway works with them to do whatever they have to do before the before the 
council meeting. Mm -hmm. It can still go to the council meeting. It goes to council meeting. So our, this, our approval or denial at this point. This body doesn't approve or deny. Yeah, or, or recommend. Right. Okay. So yes, it has to go to council either way without a plan extension okay. on then, the 26th. Let me ask you the second question. If if they haven't sent the letters out to the homeowners as far as the stormwater management, does that not give the homeowners a ability to comment at some point? When do they have the ability to comment so, if we approve, if we recommend to approve this tonight? What I have typically seen done with that particular is it okay if I take this down off the screen? Yeah, by oh, the yeah. way. Okay. Yeah. Um just makes the video recording a little bit. Um so that particular comment, I mean, that's one that goes to every plan. It's just, you know, standard or stolen water code. I have not seen that particular comment hold a plan up by itself before. We have approved plans that were functional, you know, from a technical standpoint, but still had that comment outstanding as one of the comments that, you know, contingent upon satisfying the comments of the engineer's uh, review letter. It could be... You, the complexity of the project does not trigger that requirement. It's just like whatever you're doing, that requirement is triggered. So those notification letters generally don't tell people like you can come and comment at this meeting or that, you know, it's not like a prescribed, you have to do it at this step in the process. So I guess in theory, it could help people come to the meeting, but they're not going to get any information about when the plan is being reviewed. From well, those it'd, be, it'd almost be more of an appearance issue, right? I mean, we, we may we may <laughs> recommend this and the people that could be affected by this would not have any idea that there's a that issue on the table until they get some letter, when they ever get a letter, and they won't come to this body, so well, you'd want them to at least comment. At, I mean, at, again, this is this particular regulation is not something that has prevented a plan from moving through the process in the past. That doesn't mean that you all can't make you know, your own informed decision based on that. However, look, at the end of the day, the code is the code. We're not approving something that does not comply with the code. So... You know, I think it's good for everyone to have the opportunity to have input at any stage of the plan. What those letters usually do is generate a call to me to ask what is going on. And then we explain what's going on with the plan. You know, this is at whatever stage, sometimes they send them out right up top. Sometimes they send them out after it's been conditionally approved, but before we let them start construction, you know, I've seen it. I've seen it all. Bottom line, we're not going to give a clean bill to a plan that is not compliant. So, um, and I'm not suggesting do with that information what you will, I guess, but yeah. that's been our past practice. And I'm not suggesting we will, I'm just suggesting that people that could be impacted it should have the opportunity to make whatever comment they need to make on, okay. on a, whatever basis. Yeah, they, they not it was going to be a double negative. They were notified at the rezoning stage, were they not? You're, well, everyone that was adjacent, right. which, which perhaps is mm -hmm. No, we do adjacent for the BMP notification as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there was an, yes. at that That's a good opportunity. Point. They, you know, the plans, the, the conceptual plans yes. were part of that. So yes. they, Correct. I would hope that the adjacent property owners have some idea of what's going on. Yeah, this is a pretty fleshed out concept plan, if I recall correctly, at the rezoning stage. Yeah. So, so everyone. Yeah, we we showed that letter. we showed the 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 car dealership in, in that in that uh, right. And we had conversations yeah. back then yes. about the storm, but I mean, not every plan has a rezoning, you know. So for the ones that haven't in the past, like that letter doesn't tell you you can show up here. Here's the timeline. It's this. It's the, it's yeah. literally like. There are stormwater facilities being installed on this property. Call this number for more information. So um, I don't know that it's often necessarily had a direct impact on the public meeting timeline. So Ke Kelly, I, I mean, you have a report. You just have not checked it thoroughly. Is that is that right? Well, is that we, have a, we have an updated calculation. Uh, calculation. That, that's all that we've seen and okay. what he's proposing to do makes sense and yeah. it appears that it adjusts it, it addresses the rate issue at that point off the site okay. we just don't have all the plans and everything to okay. say hey yeah this checks all the boxes we just have progress okay. in that direction all right so yeah. so sorry sorry but just going back to what 
I was saying previously, there are basically three options tonight. One is recommend approval contingent upon satisfying comments of the row. Two is recommend denial because X, Y, Z. Three is if you all want to try to get another month out of this, um, then we can request a plan review extension. The applicant is not required to give that to us. Um, but those are the opt. If, if they don't give us a plan extension, then like you all need to take action one way or another today so that that's on top. Any other comments while we're before we? Now? Yeah. My, my inkling is, is to do the denial and let them work with gateway and then let them bring it to the, to the, to the, uh, uh, to the council with that information complete. Um, and, and that way they still, as opposed to asking for a, another extension, I think there's been enough work on this thing that it, we don't need another extension, but if we're close. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not trying to tell anyone to vote one way or another, to be very clear. What you are functionally saying is you would only say you, that this plan should be, you're only recommending approval if they fix this stuff, basically, right? Like with, with the denial vote that yes. you're just, okay. Yeah. Yes. However, um, everyone chooses to vote, it's is... functionally the same as a contingent approval recommendation. Okay. Until Gateway is comfortable I'm not comfortable until right. they're comfortable. Right. Well, I mean, that's and that's yeah. how we always handle yeah. it. But yeah, I mean, the record would be different as to what your official recommendation was if you vote to deny. But if what you're saying is we vote to deny unless you fix this stuff, that is functionally the same thing as a conditional approval recommendation. Okay. So then yeah. wouldn't the more appropriate approach? I mean, it depends on what my colleagues here think. Um, but to ask the applicant right up front, are you willing to um, extend the time frame? Well, let me ask you, are, is there another meeting? There's not another meeting before the council. No. no. Yeah, we so that'd be that. another month. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. You want what? Yeah, I think we want to move forward. I mean, I, I think- well, we want to move forward too, but yeah. you got to give us information so we can- Understand, read. understand. I mean, I think we're, we're trying to meet all the requirements for stormwater, and I and I'm, I I can't uh, you know say that I apologize for I, I apologize for them not being earlier for Gateway to review. I think they've been working with with our our uh, stormwater, uh, and I'm gonna definitely if you want to have the stuff seven days prior to the meeting, we're gonna have it earlier be before that. But it wasn't um, just this i mean that we've had two months of meetings now i understand stormwater has been a major yeah. issue and for whatever reason yeah. you've not been able well, to well we, we had to go out and survey the stuff too so we had to go out you know because it was off-site uh stormwater or comments so we had to go we had to get notification to say that we're going to be you know going to your onto your property and looking at your you know structures that are on your property the easement that the drainage easement and going to the detention facility so we we had to do those kind of things that you typically don't have to do on, you know, on-site stormwater on your site. So, but, but yeah, I understand. I, I'm not, more I'm, runoff. Yeah. Then. Sure. I understand. Any comments? There's one, I guess, point of order, because it seems like we're going to call for a motion here, yeah. probably. Yes. Okay. Well, if, what you want to represent in a vote is a denial recommendation, essentially. We typically try to make motions in the affirmative, which means you make the motion to approve, but then you vote no. Um, so it, it's a, ask the lawyers. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Again, you all can make whatever motion you so choose. Deny is an option on the agenda. However, if that is the direction you think you're going, well, rather than, rather than, recommendation. Rather than do that double negative stuff, which I don't even understand, uh, why didn't we, my recommendation would be, we recommend approval, and I say that very reluctantly, we recommend approval, but only if yes. total information is supplied to you by whatever date you want it. And if it's a minute late, 
we don't approve. Or I mean, it's it, it, it's contingent. It is, right. It doesn't meet the requirements. It, it, that that being the contingency that it's got to be in your hands, completed by whatever time you say, and if it's a minute late, it doesn't meet the contingency. It's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> but I get I get what you're. I mean, I, we, I think you understand where I'm coming yeah. from. We've been through this way too many times. So, so we have other things to do. Well, that that is true, Dan. That is true. But so what you're saying is that you really don't want this to come before this commission again. Well, you think we've well they're it. saying they're not going to yeah. get yeah. an extension. Well, right. So if they don't yeah. give an extension, so we have of, to act. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they could be denied and come back with a plan by council. Yes, but to, <laughs> but but I mean, at this like we really need to get a recommendation one way or another procedurally before it goes to council. So like this is this is kind of our. So RJ, yeah, to be clear, <laughs> to be clear, a denial or a affirmation with con these conditions are basically the same thing. If what your denial motion was going to be made on was denial, unless you give this information, then yes, that is the same as okay. approval with contingency. Um, RJ, just a comment, if you can hear me. Yes, yes. we can. Right. So I just would, would share that. I mean, I, as I read our, our, our charge for the commission in, in supporting the council, is that we have a time requirement um, for whichever reason we haven't met the time requirement. So then we really can't approve it. And it just sounds to me that the conditional is sort of passing that then to the council. And again, from the track record, from the discussions, even though I haven't been on all of them, um, it would just it would just appear to me to be more clear to deny it and then truly put the onus on to um on on onto the applicant when they go to the council for approval or disapproval over um so yeah i the the it's it this is probably the most procedure heavy discussion <laughs> i've gotten into in with this body for a while so um i mean if if the motion that's made in the vote that's taken is on a denial my recommendation would just be like don't make that motion unless what you're saying is it doesn't matter what you submit to gateway between now and such and such date we just don't think that this plan should be approved um that's if, the challenge. How do we get yes. at that point to council if and, this is our concern? Well, the, I mean, that's like the, the we do very often use the satisfaction of engineers' comments contingency on the recommendations. I guess in that can kind of be taken two ways. One is you can approve this, but you should also include the contingency that they should satisfy all comments because sometimes there are just goofy little formatting things or things that are not really that material or that technical as this. You could maybe word the motion if you do want to motion for approval with contingencies, like very explicitly, like the stormwater management comments, we recommend that that should be satisfied before council acts or something like that. Now, council can still make their own choice at their meeting, you know, whatever that is. But if you want to word the motion more strongly, that's an option as well, I think. Well, well, council has already said in the public meetings that if stormwater is an issue, mm -hmm. this won't make it through there. Um, they they were fairly uh, uh, in one of the ones that I've listened to. Um, Jack Casey had made the statement that stormwater would be a negative if it wasn't addressed properly. So yeah, the the question would be. Uh, yeah, how how do we handle that knowing that that's going to be a major issue at the council um council denies it i mean but yeah i mean if they, let them... i if the, here's my here's my crystal ball that i'm pulling out that is <laughs> as accurate and as do we, we, work, do we worry know? about that or not or just um, do we do? Okay. i mean look if, if, if the if the applicant does not grant another review extension then council is going to be in the same position and that they need to act up or down one way or another just like 
we're being asked to today, except for that vote is actually binding to the application, you know? So um, certainly somebody, an applicant can choose in the 11th hour to grant another extension. I've seen it happen before. It doesn't always, you know? Uh, I don't want to speak for council on how they would vote. I would certainly agree that stormwater and making sure that the plan works is a very high priority for that group. Um, this is a preliminary plan. We don't really get that many that are split when they're single site. In theory, there's another opportunity, another checkpoint to do more work on the stormwater. However, we really try to get things as buttoned up as we can in the preliminary stage because functionally the site is approved and we're just tweaking things and we need to when we get to the final plan stage. So, yeah. I understand the uh, consternation, perhaps, <laughs> with the group is happening. Any other comments? No, I just, uh, we're, we, we will definitely work with the uh, gateway on all the comments that, that she's uh, asking for and definitely we'll have something for her well in advance before council meeting. Well, I, I'd like to propose the style of the motion to be that we uh, app tentatively approve subject to gateways uh, satisfaction to all stormwater issues. I, I understand there might be nitpicky other things that to all stormwater issues, and you can describe that any which way you want, that all these issues that we talked about tonight, all stormwater issues have to be resolved to your satisfaction. Otherwise our tentative approval is meaningless. It's only conditioned upon that being hit. That would be the style motion. So I'm gonna ask for Mr. Williams, one clarification, sure. one point to that, which is, as we were discussing previously, that all documentation from the applicant to satisfy Gateway's questions or concerns be submitted no later than. Right. Let me get my calendar. Okay. <laughs> so I can verify we give a good date there. Okay. While you're doing and that. Also, administratively, I think we have to have public comments before. Yes. So. so Public comment if a vote is going to be taken. Additionally, the order that we have here is modification request number one before we get to the motion on the whole entire plan. So um, modification request number one, I feel like we kind of put this one to bed a few meetings ago, to be yeah, honest. That's the, the sidewalk, yeah. Yeah. specifically only on Nine House, not on Perry. Correct. So would somebody like to make a motion for the modification request while Kelly is looking at the calendar? Well, do we need public comment on that? We do. As well? yes. All right. right. So is there any public comment on the other item which has been before us uh, concerning Schultz? And that is the sidewalk on Einhorn, Einhain, whatever, Einhaus, Einhaus Road, which is uh, being waived uh, at the request of the applicant. Is there any public comment on that? Hearing none? All right. Let's have a motion then. Um, the motion for... Uh, the first item, which is the waiver of the sidewalk requirement on Einhaus Drive only. Uh, I'll motion that. Second? Okay. Second from Shelley. Well, I got Shelley. <laughs> All right. All in favor of the waiver of the sidewalk on Einhaus? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Oh, thank Aye. you. Aye. Thank you, Mark. That's a yes. <laughs> All right. All, all in favor of good. Uh, now, so the ten, the second item that now we need to talk about, and the one we've been talking about, is uh, the motion to recommend approval, tentative uh, approval, uh, the preliminary land development, uh, subject to gateways satisfaction of all issues related to stormwater. Do you want me to read the notes? If you if you've got it, go ahead. Let's see how you all feel. Okay, so the the. The condition would be contingent upon satisfaction of the comments within the engineer's letter with specific attention to stormwater being resolved prior to town council approval. And materials to meet that certification in Gateway's hands by? Wednesday, February 14th at 5 p.m. Okay. okay. Do we want to put that in the motion? Somebody yes. Yes. To yes. Me yes. Motion. Okay. <laughs> yes. And, and materials. Is that... Acceptable. Yes, you can, uh, make, yes, you can meet is. that yes, deadline. 
I will be yep talking to them tomorrow morning and we will get this thing taken care of. Delivered to Gateway. Bye. End of business. February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to them. Oh, yeah. We'll have it well on. <laughs> that was not on purpose. Yeah. All right. Uh, can we have, with the language that uh, will be provided and was just read, uh, can I have a motion for such a vote? Didn't Ann just, did you, you yeah. motioned that already? Yeah. Oh, did you? All right. Yeah. Ann makes the motion. Second? Second. Sean? All in favor? Aye. 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 Reluctantly. Opposed? No. Yeah, I'm no. sorry, I'm, I'm going to be opposed. Okay. All right, we have two oppositions, so, Mark and yeah. Brendan. To, to confirm, we've got we've got a no from Mr. O'Donnell and a no from Mr. Jones. Okay. All the others are in favor. That'll be it. Thank you. Okay, that's it. See you on the twenty sixth. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's move to the second item on the agenda, which is the Ridge Final Subdivision Land Development Plan Amendment. Uh, looks like they're- We have Mr. Yes. Lucci back again. I'm back again. Making a change from 19 to 18 yes. lots. Do you have the- Hold on. Do you have the- uh, There it is. Uh, this is the revised uh, Ridge plan. And uh, the only thing that we're changing here is making the units or the making the lots wider. The entrance uh, off 19 is the same location. The cul-de-sac is at the same location. The detention facility and open space is in the same location. It is just, we widen the lots and we bent the road just slightly towards the, uh, the west here. So you can see that making the lots wider, we went from 19 lots to 18 lots. And that's all the changes to this. And we made them wider because the, the houses are going to be bigger on 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 these lots. Okay. Sorry, last slide still at nineteen. This is the one we want. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's that's eight. So you can see it's yeah. relatively the same. <laughs> yeah, it's quite similar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Quick yeah. question. Yeah. Was, why don't we have jelly? Yeah. Was there something with the um, an existing setback requirement that adjusted the lots as well? Yeah, I mean, there was a setback off of 19 that was, um, it was recorded uh, many years ago, and that still remains on this property. So we, that's where lots, I think 16, 17, 18, and maybe 15 um, has that setback that we wanted to slide the the road to the west a little bit. So to provide enough room for the lots on, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18. But you can see it's mainly identical other than that and uh, the widen of the, of the, of the lots. So I'm just a little confused. So you're saying that, sorry, the, um, there's a record, there's a set, sorry. <laughs> there's a setback that only affects um some of the properties that um well the back of them back, go to the 19. 19 basically yes. right in here if you can I, they used to dip down closer to 19. yeah as you this was a recorded document back in the i want to say 50s. Yeah, it was very old. Very I saw a old. copy of it. And when it widened, <laughs> and it got widened, you know, uh, so I think it was only two lanes, and then they widened to four lanes. Uh, that recording stayed on this property. Right, right. It was it it, it was almost like um like, like a community a building line that extended to the properties up nineteen. So like it's it, a unique situation. Yeah, yes. it's not. It's not anything that it's not. I at. just don't recall hearing about that before. Oh, but sure. maybe I missed it. It was, it was mentioned in the comment letter, but it wasn't really anything that prevented the creation of lots. The impression that I'm getting is just the community building line like you need everybody that has that building to agree on it to be extinguished and i don't think that's i think what happened well able to i think that's what happened plus we wanted to make sure that when we put the house on the the lot that it won't be 
you know, obstructed by that separate. Right. Mm -hmm. So if, like if you if you can't extinguish the community building line for whatever reason, yeah. not our local ordinance, you know, then then that significantly cuts into the buildable area that I think when they had 19 oh, lots. Oh, makes sense. Standard. I was yeah. just curious. Yeah. Thank you. Is that lot one? Go the entire width of the plant. Yes, that because there's no there's no open space in that area there. Uh that you know that lot does go all the way to 19. Uh I, I think I'm just gonna flip to the other Wait, side. Of the one. One. Oh okay. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. all right. Okay. Yep. All right. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's non buildable it's nothing can be built on that side. Yeah, they've got to make the hillside. I'm, I'm just like, right. I mean, we didn't come up before. <laughs> yeah. It's final plan, so we're here yeah. already. Mm -hmm. And I, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. No other uh, engineering implications that you're aware of? Uh, yeah, there's some there's stormwater. Sure. Plans. So um, one, one other additional item we did notice was um, the addition of a small retaining wall, I believe, in the back of three and four yes um that i know there was a note called out that a building you know a, a excuse me a, a design plan must be submitted for approval um was that just to address the owners that live beneath this lot for some reason um it, i think we could not get to grade in that certain location with the three to one slope that we had to uh contend with we had that retaining wall just to take up some grade okay so yeah we identified that and then i i believe with the shifts in some of these lots the storm sewers were changed so um the slopes still met the ordinance but there were some um discrepancies we found in the storm sewer calculations that i just don't think were rerun and reprocessed when they updated the design um so that's the the one calculation on there um, and then I believe with the riprap, when when they they were going through the permitting process, they must have adjusted that riprap outlet. That now we identified a discrepancy just again between the the plans and the cal. I would say both are minor and are not of a stormwater concern. Um, the cross check with the stormwater detention basin design um, did align with what was submitted during the preliminary phase. Yeah. So a concern I have is I only came in at the end of this project and I do remember that what I what I remember is that the waiver of the guarantee bond was not recommended by this as a modification. Yeah, that was just they were asking to not bond the sidewalks or street trees. Yeah. Right. So we turned that to right, but it's still in the plan. It by Kelly's comment. Yeah, we had found that that was still listed on a plan, so we just wanted to call that out to make sure it was no longer a waiver request and was just an accidental miss. So we did not remove this from the plan. Yes, yeah. that is correct. We're not asking for that modification or waiver anymore. So it would be removed from the plan. Yeah, which I'm sorry, was it on? <laughs> I'll make sure it's not on there. It's on the landscape plan. Oh, yeah, I can okay. verify. Yeah, okay. I don't. I don't seem to let me double check, but I don't believe I have. We're, we're not asked. We're not because we're not asking There's for no a waiver. Modification. Yeah, we didn't. No, there was never submitted written modification on that. Right. Yeah, no, but it was still yeah. coming up. And mm -hmm. right. I thought it had already been denied. So. Right. right. Sorry. You must correct. been a, uh, you know, word processing error, we'll call it. Uh -huh. I forget how it was left on the sidewalk on 19. They are going to build that. We're, yep. We, I think we have the HOP for that. Okay. Would you be able to extend that yeah, over to the town? I don't think we've received that yet. Okay. All right. As well as if there were any changes in the design plans as well from um, with your, your okay. traffic engineer, yeah. we would need an updated copy to okay. take a look at there. I thought I that was already. I, doesn't the township usually get or the town get a copy of the permit too? Once once it gets, I know our the town's the applicant, right? Have you received anything on this one? No, well, I I looked. I'm we got the I'm going to check yes letter. 
Because yeah. I remember I was looking for both that and the HOP and I did not find when I searched because I I don't get the actual document of the permit because there's something you have to log into that I don't have a login for. But like I get a notification email. For you have the EPS, I, like they they sent that, you know, how it's all computerized now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like okay. I'll get I'll get a notification when like an application was submitted mm -hmm. or an application was approved. And I don't recall seeing. OK, I will stuff for this definitely time. look into that and. We'll forward it to, to everyone. Yeah. What are the, uh, what's the size uh, can, of the retaining wall that's being built in the back? I think it's going to be under like three or four feet. It's nothing really big. It, it looks like yes. just under four feet at, yeah. at this max. At, or just, um, just over three feet at its max. Okay. Yep. As I recall, that doesn't require fencing or anything as, as a result. Okay. It'll be the property owner's responsibility to maintain it. That's in that lot. I think it's going to have to be, yes. It's going to have to be uh, shown to be uh, remaining and not be able to, because we can't uh, um, it, go into the grading in, in back of those units so because of the slope. You but actually, it, costs two it actually crosses the lot, so there's two on yeah. yeah, the lot. Yeah, three okay. and four. Yep. Yeah. So is there some sort of an agreement being, I mean... I maintain if, what's on my lot and somebody else maintains what's on the other. So what's going to have to be on in some of the uh, HOA requirements or the, yes, yes, put it in the HOA. It'll probably be in the HOA. It sounds like we're kind of like we, where we were in a smaller fashion with the last discussion that it's just clean it is subject to cleanup of um yeah, but these the aren't issues re just, receiving yeah. 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 well yeah. again the engineer final engineer. approval this is one of those contingent upon the engineer's comments yeah. it's a little more yeah. formatting yeah. tweaky yeah. than yeah material I don't, yeah i don't i don't consider these as being nearly as material as the the stormwater issues at the last one right but nevertheless need to be addressed and resolved so um uh, so uh, if we want to take a motion, uh, do we have any public comment on this prior to taking? No? We don't have anyone here. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Unless they're hiding. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, then let's have a, uh, can we have a motion to uh, approve the amended final subdivision land development plan for the Ridge subject to uh, all little idiosyncrasies being met and cleaned up? So moved. Second. Second. Sean, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. Okay. Thank you. David, did you want to come February to the council meeting? Yeah. Well? Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the next item is the approval of the January 3rd, 2024 minutes. Any edits or changes to those minutes from anyone? They were long. <laughs> seeing, seeing none, uh, can we have a motion to approve? Moved. John, Second. Second Ann. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Mark, you, I don't know if you saw those minutes. Uh, yeah, I did. did you see the yeah, minutes? Yeah, I, I really appreciate sending that. Can, can yeah, you approve them? All right. Yep, I yeah. Thank you. All right. Anything else uh, for the good of the team? There's no public to comment on anything. All right. No. Let's have a motion to adjourn. So move from Brendan. Second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Mark, enjoy your trip. <laughs>